hi everyone welcome to the part two of this tutorial if you're just seeing this video you can check my channel to watch the part one it's just the video before this one so i've cut all my patterns on the fabric i'm going to be using the black fabric for the color and for the um front lapel so i made my front my main fabric which is the front i made it one inch longer than the pattern and i made the lining which i'm using the face for i made it 0 0.5 inch shorter than the pattern so i hope that is explanatory enough the main fabric one inch longer than the pattern because i've added allowance to the main fabric already but the one inch is for us to use to turn it over like the making the lining shorter than the fabric so the the lining is going to be 0 0.5 shorter than the pattern the main fabric is going to be one inch longer than the pattern so um please go with me as we continue this tutorial i made my center front because i'm using the black fabric for the outer part of the clothes so the lapel that will be coming outside i want it to come out as black this is my decision because of the kind of style i am cutting but if you are doing yours in a normal maybe ankara fabric or whatever the lining you are using for the rest part of the body you are not going to use it for the front piece for the lining whenever you are doing the lining for the front piece it's going to be the same fabric because it is coming outside so i hope that makes sense so now you're going to join all your materials together so join the right side to the right side join the lining to the lining so this is the front the, sorry this is the back piece i uh, made the stitch already and this is the door face that's my lining i stitch them together the side back to the center back the side back to the center back and you stitch everything together and iron is very well the front piece also do the same thing join the lining to the lining and the fabric to the fabric separately i'll do everything separately so like i said i'm using for the lining of the front please don't forget whatever you are doing and don't forget to notch also for the lining of the front you are using the same pattern sorry the same fabric you're using for the main body because the lapel is going to come outside so yeah for the um, fabric also I made my notch and i joined them together already the left side the right side and for the um, color you're going to be cutting two of this color it's cutting it on fold so it's going to be open to you know two sides you're cutting it two and you're joining this part this um, part that has the cuff the other side of it so this is how it looks like the join part sorry the cuff part is the parts are going to join to the neck itself so you're going to fold it together and get the midpoint because we're going to use that midpoint to join it to the main body on on our main body we have the midpoint already which is the joining so we don't need to notch anything there but for the color you have to notch the midpoint now the next thing you're going to do is to um cover sorry join your front piece to your back piece with the shoulder join the front to the back which is main fabric to main fabric lining to lining so the same thing you are doing on your main fabric you are going to do it on your lining separately so join it by the shoulder and let the lines be touching each other which is like the joining the dark lines let them join each other so after doing that on your fabric you are going to do that on your lining also the same thing you are doing like exactly the same thing you do on your fabric you are doing the same thing on your lining by the shoulder so now i've joined mine already and i've joined the um the body you're going to do your measurements also and join your body lining separate main fabric separate then you also cut your sleeve for the lining and for the main fabric and join them separately also everything you're doing right now is separate separate the main fabric separate lining separate sleeve separate lining for the sleeve separate So now after doing all that i'm going to join my collar to the main body to the main body you're going to use the lining to turn it over so that place i notched you're going to put it to the center back the joining of the center back and so from the notch side at the front lapel to the second notch side at the front lapel making sure your the, the parts without the gum stay is going to be on the fabric i hope that makes sense so yeah i've joined it already then i'm going to take my lining to join it um on top it so making the color in the middle of the main fabric and the lining i hope that is making sense you're going to start joining from the beginning 
the notch place is meant to touch the notch place all the sewings are meant to touch each other on the other side making sure the color is in the middle the color will join already to the main fabric is it at the middle side so now i've joined them together now and this is how it is looking making sure all the parts are joining so the next thing you're going to do is to join it down you're going to leave the body for now join down after joining the collar the next thing to do is to join it down why we are joining it down is because of that the allowance we left we want it to we want the down to overlap so making sure the same thing let the joinings be touching each other at the other side so now after joining the down you are going to join the sides from the up part you are not joining the side from the down so the first thing you join the collar use the lining to top on top the collar making sure the collar is in the middle you join the down first sorry second then you start sewing from the up part which is from that lapel you are going to sew it down to the down that we joined the first place i hope that makes sense because we want our um sewing to come out the allowance we left so we want the front piece to be longer than the back piece sorry than the lining rather so everywhere is closed now and we're wondering oh how are we supposed to bring out the um clothes to the right side so yes yeah, this is important please watch and listen closely you can now pick like any side in the lining any side and lose like six inches seven inches eight inches so you can use that part to bring it out or you can lose a little allowance at the bottom use that um, little opening to bring out your fabric and this is how it is looking can you see the hole in the middle so this is how your fabric should look like so now to join the sleeve please don't be confused what i'm about to do now it might look confusing but just watch it step by step so i use my hand to choke the sleeves inside which is the rim lining and the main fabric so you're just going to put it like this making sure the sewing part are facing each other then you fold it inside making sure the right side is facing the right side because we want the sewing to be inside turn the backs together please you can replay this part so you can understand how i did it Turn them together and use your pin to hold it this is like the way i do it so i won't get confused but there are other ways to do it which might be confusing for me i don't know how i'm going to explain explain it the other way but this is like a simple hack that I, I discovered and i was like okay let me just use it to make this tutorial so from that same hole that we made in the first place you're not going to close that hole yet till you fit the cloth and everything is okay and you can now use your needle and try to make a very very neat stitch without um seven inches or eight inches that you opened so i'm going to use that hole to bring out the sleeve i just used pin to hold together gently so, so the pin cannot so the pin will not remove or else you have to chuck it back inside and do it again so you just gently bring out the pin and that particular place that i pin together i will sew it around making it come out like a closed sleeve and it's going to be neat so this same place i'm going to sew it around So this is the exact finishing i was trying to achieve when i choked it inside and brought it out again so the sleeve can be looking as neat as this and this is how you're going to make all your sewing come out very neat after ironing so when we're done we're going to close up this place with our invisible stitches so now you can see how neat the sewing you don't need to weave or anything so thanks for watching and see you next time <music>